was bought out by Zynga, big game developer, and now looks like it'll be shut down because that company is in some difficulty. This has created an outcry among these game users. There are at one point in time, about 20 million people who played this game. We will speak with the guy who created it about the campaign that he is leading to save this game. It has been, in the lead-up to this conversation, the most discussed thing on Natural Morning. Mm. So many people last night talking about it online through Facebook, Twitter. We'll find out why and talk about the appeal of this game in 15 minutes on Radio 1. When you're a game developer, it's a big dream come true when one of the big names comes calling. And that is what happened to Greg Thompson with a game that he created called Yoville. It was one of the first games on Facebook. The American company Zynga bought the game in 2008, and with its marketing muscle, the game, featuring an entire virtual world, reached a peak of about 2.5 million players daily. But Zynga had its own business challenges recently and announced that it's going to shut this game down at the end of March. That has been greeted with deep disappointment and a whole lot more from players across North America and right around the world. And they are looking to this man in southern Ontario who created the game to somehow try to keep it alive. Greg Thompson is the co-founder of Big Viking Games, and he's on the line with us now. Greg, good morning. Good morning, Matt. For people who haven't played this game, describe it for us. So Yoville's a virtual world where you have an apartment, you create a virtual avatar, you interact with friends, you meet new people. Um, it's really, I would say, a, a second life for a lot of people where um, they're able to, um, to enjoy themselves. When you created it, um, could you have imagined how popular it would have become? Uh, no, actually. I mean, within the first month, it had about 100,000 people that were playing in a day. Um, and since then, it's it's become even more popular. Again, I, I hoped, but I never really anticipated it would reach the level of success that it did. And so when Zynga decided that it wanted to buy this game in 2008, what was your reaction? Uh, I was initially very surprised. Uh, it sort of came out of nowhere. We'd only launched it uh, about probably four weeks prior to when they first started communicating with us. Um, and like I said, it was, it was a huge surprise. It all happened very quickly. At its peak, it had about 20 million people playing it in, in, over the course of a month? Uh, that is correct, yeah. So it had about 20 million people a month and about 2.5 million people a day. Um, so it was a hugely popular Facebook game. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's past its peak now. However, it still has... Um, about a hundred and some thousand people a day to play it. So given almost half a million people a month. Given its success, why would Zynga want to shut it down? Um, I can't speak exactly on their business decisions and why they would want to do it. Uh, I assume it's mainly to focus on fewer um, games. I mean, they are a public company and they do have certain financial targets that they want to reach. And I assume it just doesn't fit with their business strategy anymore. What's the reaction been like since they announced that this game would be discontinued at the end of March? I would say it's actually been surprising for both um, myself, Big Viking, and Zynga. Um, the community has done an amazing job at voicing their concerns and voicing their disappointment with the closure of Yoville. Um, and it's been a huge part as to why Zynga is willing to work <clears throat> to try to see if we can make this work um, and make a transfer happen. So, I mean, their um, locality has actually really helped um, encourage a discussion and a dialogue. I mean, to say that the reaction has been strong kind of understates it. We mentioned that you were going to be coming on this program yesterday in social media and have been hammered with people talking about how they want this game to be safe, talking about how they're going to be listening, talking about what they can do to try and support this. I mean, there's been a huge groundswell of, 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 of activity to try and save this game, hasn't there? Absolutely. I mean, there are thousands of people um, that, again, are retweeting things on Twitter, that I receive hundreds of emails a day. I know on our Facebook um, fan page, there's a number of people, uh, like, again, thousands of people that are making comments. There are YouTube videos being created. I mean, they definitely reached out to all methods of social media um, to try to get their, their message out. How, how do you process that? I mean, what does that say to you about, about people's connection with the game um, that, that you created? Well, it's, I mean, I would definitely say it's a cool thing um, to see. It's also an indicative of the what, what these games do. I mean, a lot of people sort of stereotype Facebook games or online games in general as something that basically just a bunch of kids play and um, doesn't have any real other purpose, whereas we receive so many emails from people that play with their family or that they've been disabled and they're, um, it's their one outlet to actually be able to interact with the outside world. And so you read a lot of these comments and you realize that um, it's people from all walks of life that really have invested in this game over the last five to six years and definitely don't want to see it go. 
part of that is about the fact that it is a complete virtual life and people do feel some sort of ownership. So now as the guy who creates it, you feel as though you have to try and save this. Is there a chance that you're going to be able to buy the, this thing back from Zynga? I'm cautiously optimistic uh, that we can make a deal happen. I mean, there's a lot of uh, variables that go into whether it's even possible, but it, we are in a dialogue with Zynga right now, and I mean, they're they're definitely making an attempt. So, um, like I said, I'm cautiously optimistic uh, that we can make something happen. But if it dies, if it closes off, what do you think that will mean to the people who have invested time and energy and money into it? Well, I think not only is it a problem for yoga, I think it's actually it would be somewhat of a problem for our industry as a whole, um, where these games, people put hundreds or even thousands of dollars into it, and suddenly overnight, well, not overnight, but in a very short period of time, they basically notify the games can disappear, and they no longer have anything that they've invested into. So, I mean, it, it would be an unfortunate thing for both Yeovil fans, but also the industry as a whole. Good luck. We'll follow this along, and I'm sure uh, the thousands of people who have been tracking this will as well. Greg, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you, you too. That's Greg Thompson. He is from London, Ontario. He's the creator of the game Yeovil, wildly popular, as you heard, on Facebook, uh, and now could be shut down by the uh, company that bought this game. Greg's trying to dry it, uh, buy it back from Zynga after um, he sold it to the company in 2008, and um, as you heard, many, many thousands of people who have been following this along, hoping that he's successful in trying to keep this game alive. Uh, that. Uh